The build-up to the opening goal at Rugby Park will not make pleasant viewing for Kilmarnock's Gus McPherson and Peter Canero. Their mix-up gave away a needless corner. Motherwell's John Spencer took it and Stuart Elliott punished the home side's defence with a powerful headed goal. This was the Northern Ireland Under-21 International's first goal for his new club. Motherwell came close to adding to that seventh minute strike when John Spencer worked a 1-2 with Derek Tansley and the former Scotland striker saw his shot blocked in the line by Martin Baker. Andy McLaren's long ball to Ali McCoy allowed the veteran striker to set up Craig Dargo who nipped in ahead of Greg Strong to score his first SPL goal. A good assist by McCoy, and this is why Dargo says he enjoys learning from the legend. After the turnaround, John Spencer's pass sent Don Goodman through, but frustration followed for Motherwell. Their luck improved when Don Goodman won a free kick after the push from Martin Baker. Diggy Ramsey played it early to John Spencer, who bent across into the danger area, which Stuart Elliott got on the end of. He scored his and Motherwell's second goal. A good day's work for the Ulsterman, who netted 24 times for Glentoran last season. In the 71st minute, Bobby Williamson changed his front two, and sub Paul Wright took just five minutes to get himself right in the thick of things winning a disputed penalty following Martin Corrigan's challenge. Wright scored the penalty to make the scoreline at this stage, Kilmarnock 2, Motherwell 2. A further four minutes later, Kilmarnock took the lead for the first time in the game, thanks to Freddie Dindelow's header. The giant Frenchman met Andy McLaren's corner and a deflection of Anja Uffi helps to beat Andy Gorham. 3-2 Kilmarnock. Hibernian lead the Bank of Scotland Scottish Premier League table unbeaten in their first five matches, having scored 11 and conceded just one. Bobby, if you finished, you must be delighted with that comeback from your players. Yeah, very pleased. It looks as if we were going to end up empty-handed again, but uh, they kept on plugging away and we got to break with the penalty and thankfully we built on that, so uh, I've got to be happy with three. I thought the work rate for our players today was extraordinary. I mean, every single player put everything that was possible in there. Um, I heard one or two people suggesting that uh, because of various things that had gone on in the press before, we wouldn't get complete effort. I think that made a lie to that, really. I thought it was a great effort from them, and uh, I think, uh, to put it lightly, we were very unfortunate not to get something in the game. You'll be talking about the win bonus row. Um, is that ongoing? Uh, no, not the row really. You know, part of it's sorted out, a little bit to go, but we're, we're discussing it. Negotiations, it's okay. The players are all right about it. Motherwell surprised me the way they played the game. I felt they would shut up, shut up, and come here and sit in and uh, frustrate us and try and hit us in the break, but they never. Uh, they had a lack of midfield players out there, but the guys that came in done a very good job for them, and uh, they knew they were three points, but uh, we're very grateful for the three points, obviously.